Heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide. And one major contributor to this silent killer is something that many of us consume daily without even realizing it. It's trans fats. Did you know that consuming just 2% of your daily calories from trans fats can increase your risk of heart disease by 23%? So let's dive into why trans fats are so dangerous and how you can avoid them. Trans fats are created through the industrial process that adds hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils to make them more solid. And common sources of these trans fats are found in our processed foods like margarine, snack foods, packaged baked goods, as well as fried foods. And they are favored by food manufacturers because they increase the shelf life and improve texture. Trans fats negatively impact your lipid profile by increasing levels of low-density lipid protein, your LDL cholesterol, often referred to as our bad cholesterol, while simultaneously decreasing levels of high-density lipid proteins, or HDL cholesterol, or good cholesterol. This imbalance contributes to the buildup of plaque in our arteries, clogged arteries, which causes inflammation. And inflammation is the key factor in the development of atherosclerosis, the hardening and narrowing of these arteries. And inflammation can damage the endothelium, the inner part of the arteries, making it so much easier for plaque to form. And moreover, trans fats can contribute to insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance itself is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. And those trans fats affect the inside of the arteries, the endothelium, reducing its ability to regulate blood flow and blood pressure. And this dysfunction is another pathway through which trans fats contribute to heart disease. The most common, well-documented risk of trans fat consumption is heart disease. As mentioned earlier, even a small increase of trans fat intake will significantly raise your risk. And guess what? Trans fats are also linked to the increased risk of stroke due to the impact on the blood vessels and blood flow. And there's also evidence suggesting that trans fats contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes by promoting insulin resistance. Beyond cardiovascular issues, trans fats has been linked to other health problems, such as obesity and liver dysfunction. The first number one step in avoiding trans fats is learning how to read those food labels. Look for partially hydrogenated oils in the ingredient list first. Even if the label says zero grams of trans fat, it still contains up to 0.5 grams per serving. Opt for healthier fats like monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats found in olive oil, avocados, nuts, and fish. These fats can actually help improve your cholesterol levels, raising your good cholesterol and lowering your bad cholesterol. You might want to start cooking at home more because cooking at home allows you to control the ingredients and avoid those trans fats. And you want to use your healthier oils like olive oil, avocado oil, instead of margarine or shortening. And when it comes to dining out, when eating out, be cautious of those fried foods and those baked goods, as these are often high in trans fats. And don't hesitate to ask the restaurant about the oils that they use. So remember that trans fats are a hidden danger in many of the foods that we consume daily. And by understanding what they are and how they affect our bodies, we can make better choices for our heart health. Take a moment today to check the labels on the foods in your pantry, make a commitment to reduce or eliminate those trans fats from your diet, and I promise you, your heart will love you. I hope this video serves you well, and please share it with your friends and family. You'll be doing them a big, big favor, and also, you're going to be helping them with their health as well. Please leave your comments below, and most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.